Welcome on back everybody to this commentary playthrough of Disciples of Liberation and in the last episode we killed a dragon and um yeah we got uh, some stuff which I haven't checked so we got the mild shard of hatred so critical chance is at three percent so that's good for Orion so we'll go and have a look at him in a mo. Got the cloak of the veil so constitution and divine resistance it's just not better than the armor of the twilight twin to be honest and that's going to be for a while uh, and We've got some common pla pantaloons. The strength is down, but initiative is up. Strength is down by one. And turn order at the moment, I'm not too fussed about, so that's good. Um, we've got another skill point, and we're going to be com in the combat here for the moment. Each unspent AP at the end of turn, Ariana's initiative is increased by five. Ooh. That could be good. She gets 15% critical chance increased for the next round of. That's good as well. Um, we'll do this. Um, I want to go into this as well, which is going to be a good. Um, let's come back into there. Um, something I should have mentioned at the beginning of the last video. Um, but I've unlocked a couple of things. So um, Mark of Justice is just a blueprint we got uh, in an earlier episode. Um, so it inflicts a target enemy with all negative conditions currently ailing uh, Aviana. So that'd be really, really good if I've got a lot of stuff. And we also got to Blinding Darkness. So we can put Blinding on targets. So 25% chance to miss attacking. Um, probably would have been useful in the last battle with the dragon. But... Hey ho, uh, I need, do need to go back into my units because we've obviously got this fella. He needs to come back in. Um, let's also put the better critical chance on. Um, and for you, maybe we can put that 2% critical chance. Do you have are you a primal damage? Oh, you're physical, so we'll put that on. Your unholy and you've got the unholy one uh crit chance primal physical resistance let's give you physical resistance to be perfectly honest your physical as well so i think we're all good on that front so let's go down into the castle hail finally Ugh. Well, this looks like a right barrel of laughs, doesn't it? In the treasure chest, we've got um, some helmets. Orion. I wish that was voiced, actually. Because um, I've missed... No, Paul, it's not that. It's this. So intelligence is down. Primal resistance is up. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. It's going to tentatively come up. We've got a battle up here. With the Empire forces. It's going to conquer. We don't need... We've fought all of these guys before. There's one battle before that I skipped that I really wish I didn't. Um, it had some different types of enemies in them. Can we... We can. That's probably the... Key that we got before. So we've got some arcane flux, always nice. Treasure chest of a helmet and a headband and chain boots and some gold. Excellente. So, chain boots. Decks are the same. Initiative plus five. Initiative plus five is what we've got for 1% crit chance. With all the other crit bonuses we're getting off the side, I'm I'm not too fussed about that. There's nothing screaming there for the intelligence, which is primal resistance, mana, and power. The mercenary hexblade, seer, and witch classes. So, yeah, and power is number of tiles. Oh no. Determines the both the damage a unit can inflict and the amount of healing a unit can bestow. So power is pretty, pretty decent that we're going to want. Yeah. So. 
Can we? Holy Saint Munitions. I can't open that one. Let's Empire Forces here again. We've seen all of them. So we'll just take that on. Some divine essence over there. And a treasure chest, which is just gold. Lovely. That's a basically a unit that we can acquire. Get some divine essence used for upgrading buildings. Oh, we didn't put the barracks in. We shall take a look at that later. We've got his holy prior. I don't quite fancy meeting just yet, if possible. Take his gold. Don't know if it's proximity-based interactions with him, so we'll... Come up here. There's some text going on off to the left here. Got a vicious blade. Blades are performed weapons. Uh, preferred weapons of assassins, skeleton warriors, and berserker allies. That's power and mana. To be honest, yeah, let's just dismantle some of this stuff. Don't need. That's poor. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, let's just dismantle. Can't dismantle that. We'll keep the vicious blade just in case it's needed. It's come from a treasure chest. Right, let's uh, speak to his holy prior. Prior, oh look at him. The prior stands above the chaos of the scenes around you, unaffected by the suffering. At his side, a horrifying, horrifying abomination of a soldier stands motionless as a black rock. His holy light shone your way home, Sister Corisan. I'm told you reached Equisheim with incident. It was horrific. Some beast stalked my sisters in the night. I presumed them dead, but one survived. Thanks to this woman, Aviana. She saved our sister and slayed the beast. Yes! The ghost of the veil. Now, I've heard the stories. They're quite fantastic. And tell me, what of the rebels you were dispatched to purify? They're no closer to trusting us and no closer to purification. I've failed you, Prior. But I do believe they trust Aviana. The self-appointed leader of Equishine, a man named Jordan, is crass. But I suspect he respects her. Very good, Sister Coruscant. That's all. A holy hand is a busy hand, and you've certainly been that, Aviana. You have my attention, Aviana. Clearly that's what you wanted. So, enlighten me. Why are you here? I love that voice actor, man. So good. So, we're going to be doing this. I'm going to ask some questions, and then... Yeah, we're going to have to go for the one Answer ring to rule them all. Question. Very well, but know that every answer has a cost. My patience. What happened to the King of Mercenaries? Tell me what really happened to the King of the Hail. Very well. I killed him. You're overcome by his candor, though you try to hide your sh shock. True purification requires strong bodies on which we etch his truth. I carried out the king's purification personally. He didn't have the physique for it. Why have you come to the plains? The Vale has no place in the plains of widows or the castle hail. Explain yourself. Click buttons, fool. Really. The days of barbarous kings and fetid impurity are over. The Vale is the High Father, and the High Father is everywhere. The people are wild. If purity will not unite us, fear will. 
As I said, simple. Why are you torturing these people? This place stinks of death. Your purification is nothing more than torture. The people suffer because of you. Stop this madness. No. Now you answer me. Why are you here? I seek an alliance with you. I came for an alliance. I have a city where people are free to worship as they please. Even the Vale. So, it's power you seek. Power is not shared. It is fear itself. Those that feel it, and those that incite it. Fire burned in their hearts until this ghost of the Vale, for instance. It was nowhere, Leopard. It was us, or rather him. The unmoving soldier lurches to life, steps forward. Through his face is obscured, you can almost feel him grinning. Reminds me of um, the fat ones from uh, Demon Souls. Aviana, meet the Inquisitor Regent. He knows something you clearly need to learn. The rebels, the whole of the Empire, will tear themselves apart. War is coming to these lands. Not petty rebellion, not infighting, war! Order and obedience are the only way the Empire will survive! Prior. Quiet, Coruscant! I mourn your sisters and all wounded, I truly do. But these rebels are not leaders. They can't rule. Not now. Sacrifices had to be made and so I made them. All flesh is a temporary thing. I assure you theirs was honored. Suddenly, a young soldier rushes down the corridor to the prior. Prior, the rebels are emboldened after the death of that beast. They rally outside the walls and demand your head. Though you are deep in the catacombs of the hell, you can indeed hear screaming and the banging of drums. You see? This is your doing, Aviana. If it's alliance you want, prove it! Join us in this fight! Please, Aviana. He's right. We may seem cruel to you, but I've seen the rebels fight. They're far worse. I can explain our ways to you later, but first, help us. <sighs> so, in the demo... I went with the rebels. Um, I don't like him though, but I like her. I like Coruscant. I think if we come here from the Alliance, then we're not going to become a mercenary. Yep, I'm going to go with I you. Do nothing. We all die. Fight them back as long as you can. I'll find their base and kill them. The rebellion ends today. Agreed. Their hideout is south of here. We'll fight them off so you can escape. Got some prisoner's boots. We've got some empire. We've got a mage guild. We've got a venom. Okay, okay. Let's, let's take stock here. Triple sevens on the old health as well, which is always nice. So we've got physical resistance of five. Probably want that to go to the soldier. We've got the prisoner's boots here. The dex goes down a lot and primal resistance is only at one. That's not, not worth at all. Still tempted by these for that critical chance, but it's fine. We've got a skill point. Which tempted for this. But let's get this up. And the next rank is 25%. 25% extra crit chance. But unspent AP. So I generally, you know, if we're not moving, that's that's one. So 25% extra crit chance in the next battle is pretty, pretty decent. I haven't really used much magic. Um... Probably not going to go for that build. Uh, see. 
Um, the, 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 uh, uh, physical resistance I want with the soldier here. You're on sevens. You'll get up to level eight soon. Find the rebel encampment and kill them. Cool. So I didn't do this last time again. You know, you could go into the hashtag the Empire did nothing wrong. Especially if you're a Star Wars fan, that's quite a quite a prominent meme. But yeah, they don't look the greatest of greats, do they? But doing this for her, doing this for her. Emerging from the catacombs into the light scorches your eyes. On the lips of all the castle On the lips of of all at the castle, it's a tale of how the Vale beat the rebel forces back to the southern mountains. Abby, the rebels will be slaughtered without us. It's not too late. Let's head south and take out the Vale. You can't mean we betray our oath to the prior. That's exactly what I mean. Enough. Mount and follow me. So I've got a choice between Aviana not Aviana. Uh, Orion and there's the rebel dude there and Cassandra I'm gonna go with Cassandra she's a good healer let's just take a quick look at the journal here got no companion quests so okay the Veil stronghold is a buzz of activity as the holy hands they prepare for war so far you've gone unnoticed when you see them, when you see him, the Holy Pry himself preparing for holy war. What in the four heavens is he doing here? Abby, if we do this, we're taking down the prior along with everyone else. You slow draw your weapon. When the time is right, you charge. Attack! As you rush into the compound, the Holy Pry looks you squarely in the you eyes. What? Hang on a minute. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. That's the Veil Stronghold, not the Rebel Stronghold. Oh, well. All right, we're going to do our normal. I will carve his sword on you. Walk in his light. You will be part. doesn't need to move so um, you can come up here and take on duty this I'm gonna bring this person down or Avi down and that'll take that out Let's do this we'll get the soldier in Okay. Possessed, I think it is. Yeah. Can Let's come up here. And let's we'll just do that. You're going to get pummeled by some lightning here. 
that's a lot of damage on on that. So uh, yeah. Let's do this. Got weaking and bleeding. And dead. Our witch needs to move. This isn't the battle that I wanted to, to do, but alas. Could have moved again there. God's sake, I can't believe I did that as well, though. Uh, I am going to Let's just heal. Can't quite reach. I go. Uh, you might as well just stay there, to be honest. You can come to here. You into here. And dead. As soon as your blade run through the Holy Prize throat, then a troop of rebels scream past. Where did they head? West? For the castle. Without the Veil's blockade, the priests are defenseless. The rebels have been watching us. Don't worry yourself. The rebels wouldn't attack unarmed men. I think. We've been forced to start our lives anew, just as you have. Join us. Cassandra considers all we've done before responding. I you, but you struggle with the darkness inside. Attacking the Veil's barricade is evidence of that. All the more reason for you to join. I could use a good influence. Yes, you could. I'll join on one condition. When I was praying over Equisheim, the villagers spoke of a sickness spreading north of the river. I gave my word I would help. I'll see you honor it. But you should know, we've seen the sickness with our own eyes. It is severe. You mount your horses and leave the Vale's former stronghold. Somewhere in the distance, the sound of screaming echoes from the hail. Crones' face. Oh, we've got a rebel rouser achieved. Uh, unlocked. You glimpse the unmistakable look of a woman wondering, what am I doing? Yes. Got a mind shard of zeal. Staff for the prior. Got blacksmith experience, got a skill point. Okay, so we've done with this area. Yeah, so it's that there. Journal. No companion quests just yet. Yeah, whoops. Um actually meant to come into here. Go to the skill tree. Let's grab the extra point there. Need one more for a passive. Gonna go into this probably. Weapon wise, staff the prior. Divine resistance and morale. Where is her? It's not gonna be as good as this, right? No. So I think we're now done with this area. Um, I th think. Zoom out. I can probably get this. So let's just nip back. 
first. And building wise, we've got a blacksmith now. So I need the blueprint for the marketplace, but. Blacksmith's Forge has been constructed here. You can upgrade equipment, upgrade equipment, improve stats. Bear in mind that equipment can only be upgraded four times. Also, the blacksmith requires resources for each upgrade, and the tier of Blacksmith's Forge will determine how many times the equipment can be upgraded. Currently, the blacksmith can only upgrade equipment once. Let's head in. And we've got everything for that. That's just plus one across all stats, right? Four power, crit chance goes up by 12. Okay, we'll do that for sure. And this is what we're wearing. Intelligence and primal resistance. Can't do that. Strength and dex. Go seven to two, that's good. Dex and initiative, six and six. Pretty decent. Again, resources wise, that's not there. So that's maxed, we can They're both equipped, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Can't do anything on this. Need castle tier two, which I can't do yet. Uh, I want to research spells, Paul. That's what you want. Why you came back here? But it's venom mines. Venom vines. Chaos blade. Flix burning. You an attack of abilities with allies with fire. And blinding light. Blast a radiant beam of light energy, dealing divine damage, inflicts blind. So that's the same as what, similarly what Cassandra's got. So I like all of them. Nothing else. Fireball. So there's a lot, a lot of um, spells and stuff as well, which is good. Um, okay. I don't think we can do anything. Yeah, I'm highly unlikely to be able to get better soldiers here. Just checking to make sure I haven't done something here. If not, done the blacksmith. Gather our resources. Again, resources galore. Can't upgrade, because so we need to do that. So, they're maxed. Meet our companions. Let's talk to Cassandra first. Now that you're one of us, you're going to need a job. Have you a thought about it? Glad you asked. I saw a chamber that catches light both from sunrise and sunset. Orion helped me move some pews in and an altar. Industrious, I like it. Every castle needs a high priestess, someone who guides our kingdom spiritually and religious religious growth. I can think of no one better. Yet, but in the end, we consider all religions, all faiths equal, even those who have no faith. Then welcome the first church of heathens, Aviana, where all are equal. The Church of Heathens, I like the sound of that. Will you travel to Huyuk? We're going to Huyuk. I want you with us when we do. The High Father protects me wherever I go. I do not fear, so as long as his holy eye watches over me. Have you been to the Whitelands? I've heard tales of the elves making the Whitelands their home. That's other eye atop the mountain. Uh, I think that's well, that's Geraltered. Geraltered. Good God. 
there was a dwarven city called Strong Peak. It's there the chieftain of the clans resides. We're setting off to the forest of the lost in Greyleaf. Our prayers do good work there. I've heard the mortis grip on the monsters is slipping. Praise his holy light. I want to ask you about religions of Nevanda. Good. Our spiritual pilgrimage is not just about exploring the unknown, but questioning the unknown. So ah, so ask away. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. How did the Vale worship? I'd like to discuss your experiences in the Vale, actually. We worship the High Father above all and pray for his return so that he might scorch the impure from the world. What do the demons worship? Let us talk about the Unholy Legion. They don't value worldly possessions or symbols. Nevanda is in a prison for their god, Betherazen. Instead, their rituals draw from arcane palinar magic, an intentional affront to the teachings of the High Father. Second Woken seems linked to Mortis, even though I've never seen them pray. In essence, they're always in prayer. Mortis and the Council of the Six are ever present in the minds of the undead. I don't know. Elven? So I want to probably go and see the elves next. The elves seem spiritual, but I know very little about their religion. Nor do they. The clan still worship Galleon. They do not pray, but chant in an effort to get the gods to hear them. So at least so far they failed. Galleon's departure caused the schism and the resulting Dumverate has split elven spiritual practice. What sort of word is that? Let's discuss something else. And let's see how she is. Let's talk to you for a change. I truly believe the gods bless Yelian. I am so happy. Let's get going. Let's just go back and we're going to drop a safe here. We're going to leave um, Orion's um, speaking until the next episode. Um, yeah, that's like ages away, that whole episode to save here um i might see if i can load a quick save and see if i can go back and, and potentially save the rebels uh, but we'll see that um in the next one so uh, please like comment subscribe all of that good stuff it really really does help me out um and thank you for sort of the interest that i've had in the video so far it's really really appreciative well i am really really appreciative of that um are you enjoying cyprus liberations have you made different decisions that I have? Please let me know in the comments section down below. And there'll be some more Disciples Liberations coming to you shortly. And I'll see you all in that next one.